Hey everyone, welcome back to the lands of Bentley. And I've been doing a little bit of mining down in my strip mines. Heard some uh, some noises and went to investigate and I found this. This awesome ravine with a witch in it apparently. And I don't have any arrows. I do see the skeleton. We're gonna go over there and take a look though. We're gonna do a little bit of exploring. Come here, you. Ah, you. Witch. If you dare. Oh, witch is on fire. Ah! Stop it! Oh, wow. You weren't very smart, were you? I won't let you burn it. No! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Darn you! Witch! Ooh! No! Oh! Good, you're on fire. Get out of here! I want this, though. This is why I went mining in the first place. Iron! I want iron. How long is this poison? 18 seconds? Oh my... Holy cow! Are you gonna... This isn't gonna kill my armor, is it? Doesn't look like it. It's hurting me, though. We're gonna have to keep an eye out for mobs. Let the health regen! Alright, good. Really wanted that lapis, too. Wow, this is a pretty decently sized ravine. Sure. All right, let's go ahead and get through here. Also, we got to level 30. We're gonna go do some enchanting here in a minute. Probably enchant another diamond pickaxe. Oh, Fred? I hear you, Fred. Where are you? Fred's hiding. Oh, there he is. I see you. What are you doing down there? You know it's dark over here. You're not supposed to play in the dark. Don't need to be doing that. Alright. And nothing too amazing down here. That's alright. <laughs> Got some coal. Always love mining me some coal. Especially with fortune. It's awesome. So I'm gonna grab all this. I'm gonna be heading back up to base here in just a minute after we finish picking up this lapis and stuff. Actually. Let me, um, take a look. Yeah, we're almost full. Probably gonna have to get going here. Ah. Oh my gosh. All of the coal. Gosh, there is a... Ooh, iron. <laughs> ooh, piece of candy. Love me some iron. Good. Alright. Nice. Alright, good. Got the coal. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll have to come back through here and pick through this a little bit later on. I think uh, we'll go ahead and pick up this. Oh, that was it? What a tease. And we'll come over here and pick up this. Ooh. All right. Did you troll? Ah, trolled me a little bit. It's fine. All right. Is that? Oh, nice. We even have ourselves a abandoned mine, which is something I was kind of hoping for. Something I wanted to run into. All right, we're gonna go up there and take a look at this too. We're gonna do a little bit of exploring. Right, let's see if we can make our way up here. Yeah, I wanted to find one of these because it's got spawners. Sometimes you find dungeons and carts and all that good stuff. So cross your fingers. Hopefully we find something good. Shouldn't take too long to get up there. I just want to poke around for a minute. I don't want to explore the entire thing. Ooh, candy. <laughs> I love this stuff. Come here, you. How much do I have? 41. Just on this run I've gotten. I've actually had a few more runs of uh, mining before this. I uh, managed to get about over a stack and a half of iron. So we're doing pretty good on iron right now. Or better than what we were. Ooh, that was a good note of iron. Alright, where is this sh I've lost this mine shaft. I completely lost it. Ooh, coal. No! I think I'm digging too much. Alright, alright. Let's get our bearings a little bit here. Yeah, I totally <laughs> pass that up. Let's go right, and then we should just be able to make our way back around. Something like this. Oh, there it is. Ha! 
found you. And Fred. Ooh, iron. This is another reason why I love going through these. I can pick up all the ore. Plus these. Cobwebs are awesome. Alright, Fred. I got time for you right now. We got some exploring to do. And a lot of your little friends are coming. To say hello as well. Hello? Hi. Oh. Ah! Oh! Hey, don't you do that. Stop it. Get. I do want the bones. Gravel, go away. Alright, we'll go explore that a little bit later on. Oh, no! Yeah, get out of here. Creeper. Uh, let's go ahead and throw that out for now. Hello? Anything good? No. Alright. <laughs> I do want to pick up the tracks here later on, too. That's another reason why I was kind of hoping to find one of these. And in mine shafts. Because now I can kind of work on mine. I don't know if this is going to actually lead anywhere. Doesn't look like it. Alright. Well, we're full up on items. We need to head back to base and show you guys all the stuff that I've done since last time. I've done some uh, some work on the... Oh. Hmm. Bet I could make it. Let's do it. I've done some work on our entrance a little bit. And... Oh! Uh, careful. Alright, let's just get out of here. Let's go ahead and mark those two. There we go. And I need to mark off my... Let's see, which one? Now, let's just go ahead and do this. There we go. Ooh, iron. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to pass up iron. I'm going to grab it as soon as I can so I don't forget. There we go. So we need to mark this uh, shaft off here. That way we know that this leads off to, like, a ravine. So how do I want to do that? Let's do cobblestone coming out and down. I'll put a torch right there. That'll signify I have something significant down that shaft. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and head back to base real quick, clean up the inventory, and we'll be right back. Alright guys, and we're back in our storeroom. I'm going ahead and uh, just compressing up my coal, my redstone, just put my iron away, which I... You shush noise. Um, my iron I need to go ahead and get cooked up, but I went ahead and just put it away for now. Let's see, so I got my coal blocks in here. Let's see, put the coal in there. Redstone goes in here. And eventually I'm going to be putting up uh, item frames, but uh, still working on getting the leather for that. I need to actually work on my cow farm a little bit, which hopefully will be moving around soon. Put the gunpowder away. I probably need to hold on to some arrows, but that's fine. Put the dirt away. Been trying to work up my dirt. Lampus, I'm going to have to put down stairs. I still have that chest down. We lost my leggings. All right, let's go ahead and make ourselves a diamond pickaxe. And do a little bit of enchanting. Where are the um, sticks? Because I'm going to have to make some. There we go. I had sticks down here somewhere. We'll go ahead and put them in here. Let's grab two, and let's go grab us some diamonds and do some enchanting. So, my voice might sound a little different. <laughs> the air's been really dry lately, and i am actually been trying to run a vaporizer to help out the uh, all the dry air in the area. But it uh, kind of works on your voice a little bit. <laughs> At least mine. It, I don't know, it just... Makes it a little scratchy, and oh, I've been having a, a real strong urge to do a lot of coughing lately, and I've been trying not to. So if I do a lot of cuts and videos, uh, you know, around this time of year, I guess it's probably that reason right there is because a lot of dry air. So um, I don't know. Maybe you guys have some tips on that, some little tricks and stuff. Oop! Careful. Pick these guys up. 
and let's let's hope for the best. Now, I've been trying to get like an efficiency uh, four unbreaking three pickaxe, just so I can use for like a work pickaxe, or even a silk touch. This is why I'm still doing pickaxes, and I haven't done like a shovel or a sword yet. So yeah, here's hoping for the best. Efficiency three unbreaking three. Hmm. All right. Well, that's not too bad. That's not horrible. I guess I'll go ahead and finish using. Hmm. You know what? We'll go ahead and use this. We'll go ahead and use this one. Oh, hello, Piggy. Oh, wait, hold on. Piggy, you stay here. I want you. Uh, <laughs> my sheep kind of got loose somehow. I guess he broke his lead and found a friend with the cactuses. <laughs> I don't think they became friends forever. Let's just put it that way. Um, also, I had a tragic accident, which I couldn't help at all. Um, I was unaware that this was still a problem, but apparently, come here you, I need a name for you later too. What happened? Oh. But, uh, Eclipse, my horse, actually suffocated in a wall, so I'm gonna have to do something about that. I guess, I think the chicken broke its lead too. I thought the chicken was set up here, but I think the chicken's just stuck there now. That's fine. Mr. Jenkins, we're going to have to get you moved very soon. So, um, let me go and show you guys some of the things that I've done and changed. I went ahead and worked on these um, supports here for our bridge. And they were super wide. I think some of you guys kind of agreed on that too. So, I went ahead and uh, made them a little bit shorter. They came out to this block here. And I went ahead and made them one block shorter. I think they look pretty good. I also added some uh, slabs right here kind of give it an arch here for this I guess rail that I set up. I think it looks pretty nice. I've also continued on the oops, watch out. I made up some more rails or found some more rails and kind of continued the uh, the look here that we've been going with and I also tried to close this off. This is kind of like what that was supposed to look like. It's just kind of like a closed off area. Um, Leaving it open, though, that way I know that we have something we can do down here. And we're going to do something with that very soon. But I also continued on the shaft down this way and kind of curved it off. Now, this whole area right here was dirt. So I went ahead and cleared that out. That way I had some dirt <laughs> to um, use for later on if I needed some terraforming done. I like getting rid of dirt down here in underground areas for that reason. So I have some dirt and I don't have to mess with the uh, terrain uh, above ground. But yeah, looking pretty good. Got it curved off. We might do something more with it a little bit later on. But I'm thinking I might head out towards where we found the other horses and see if I can't maybe pick up another horse. Um, maybe another horse or two because I want to uh, possibly see about breeding some. It's a shame Eclipse um, isn't here with us anymore. But hopefully we can get that taken care of very soon. I'm going to do something about this. Cause this is like a perfect squid trap. Every time I come over here, I see squids coming down here. So, what do I want to work on? I think I'm going to have to start reforming this a little bit. Because I kind of want to start working on my base here a little bit. Also, that's why I have the saddle here. Is um because my horse died. Yeah. Not cool. I wasn't too happy with that. I <laughs> I was a little sad. I like Eclipse. But let's go ahead and grab some stone brick. We're going to do a little bit of work here. We're going to try to work on this walkway here because this walkway is going to be stone brick. And then we're going to trim this whole area up with some nether brick. So let's go ahead and do this. I think we're going to leave this like this. And I'll probably have this come over this way. To the stairs here. In fact, I'm probably just going to widen these up to three wide. Let's go and clear this area out here. In the end, I want this entire cave area here to at least have some type of uh, decoration. I don't know if I'm going to make the entire thing like out of nether brick or something like that. I think we might do some other like cavey stuff. So we might. Ooh, iron. <laughs> yeah. So maybe like some vines or mossy cobblestone or um, more iron up there. 
Maybe some type of supports around in the area. I'm not sure yet. I might even see if you guys have some ideas. I wouldn't mind seeing some of those. Also, this farm's not going to be here forever either. This is just our temporary farm. That way we can build up some resources. I'm going to probably on the opposite side of the ravine. And I'll show you guys real quick. So you guys can get a little bit of an idea of what I got planned. I don't know if I said this yet. But this will probably also be another pathway here to a bridge. That we'll have set up right here. And it'll go to the opposite side of the ravine. We'll set us up a nice large area in there. And we might even utilize that ravine right there. And uh, I was thinking about using that ravine that um, cuts into this one as kind of like a uh, giant hallway. I think that'd be awesome. And uh, maybe have this area connect over to this ravine and this uh, make this into a giant hallway that leads to this side of the ravine. Um, and where we can start building like um, a giant farm and um, put all the cattle over there too. I think that'd be pretty awesome. So, maybe even an underground tree farm. So we gotta work on that. I need to actually light this up. Pick this up too, because we're not gonna be using this anymore right here. I thought it was kind of a cool idea at the time, but I think it's it's gonna have to be something I'm gonna probably have to put somewhere else. I'll have to fill that in too. Yep, give me you. Free lever. Alright, so let's go ahead and start clearing this stuff out. I think right here should be good. And I'm thinking maybe a three wide, maybe a four wide pathway all the way around. Might even do a little bit of reforming around the walls. So, to save a little bit of time, I think I might do some of this just off camera real quick. Watch out, cobblestone, you might get deleted. Yeah. Um, I think also what I might do next is go ahead and just try to make my way out towards... You sh creepy noises, I need to get rid of those. <laughs> I don't know, the atmosphere of those might be kind of nice in here. Anyway, as I was saying, I might make my way back out to where we found the horses. See if we can't pick up a couple of the horses out there. Grab some leads to take out there with us. And uh, bring a few back. I kind of want to work on a um, small stable for them down here. That way, if I want to, I can go ahead and uh, take them out and ride them. Go wherever we need to. Say if I want to go to the Mesa biome, we can or whatnot. So I'm thinking maybe four wide. It's looking pretty good here. So we got three here. So one, two, three, and then four. Four there, but hmm. Yeah, see, this is where I'm probably gonna have to do a little bit of work with. Cause I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna do this just yet. So we got four there. I think we'll leave that like that. Four, four. So you guys kind of see what I'm doing here. And then we want to do the same thing from here. So we want four, and then four, and then I'll replace all this stone with stone brick as well. Alright guys, well I'm going to go ahead and work on this a little bit. I'm going to go head out towards uh, where we found those uh, horses before. And we'll be back in just a minute. Alright guys, and we're back. Made our way out towards the plains biome where the horses are. Um, along the way I went ahead and picked up some rose bushes, peonies I found. I killed some cows for leather. Um, also picked up some clay I found. Uh, made some maps before we left just to kind of start mapping out the area. That's something I really want to do and get set up. Might even make a large map room at some point. Um, but let's go ahead and tame a few of these horses here. Last piece of bread, last bit of food. So actually you two look to be just fine. So let's give you some wheat and we'll give you some wheat. In fact, you can have three more. Might need to make up some food. So come here, you. Love me. Yes! Good. Alright, and you get the saddle. Alright, nope. Come on, buddy. Come on, now we're going to have to come up with names for you now. One of you I'm going to call Eclipse 2. <laughs> or I'm just going to rename you Eclipse. Wait a minute. Alright, that works. Alright. And you get to come on the lead with us. Alright. Now it's time for the painstaking trip back to base. 
I don't know how I want to do this. Because if I go too fast this way, I'm going to break the lead. I don't want to do that. Alright, come on, you. Come on. Come on. Careful. Hmm. It's not, it's not really too far. It's really not... Am I going to break the lead? Because this, this guy looks like he's able to keep up pretty well. Maybe this horse isn't fast enough to break the lead. Alright. Well, I'll go ahead and uh, keep an eye on him. Looks like he's doing alright, though. Maybe they fixed that mechanic. Maybe they made it better. I don't know. Alright. Come on, guys. We got to go back. Oh, yep. Never mind. <laughs> alright. Where's your lead? Come on. Or I could just do this. Guess we could do that too. I might just do this, yeah. Alright, we'll be back in just a minute. Alright, you two. Now, we gotta cross this river. We're gonna do it, alright? Whether you both like it or not. We gotta get to our entrance. We gotta take you guys down into the base. Or at least, um, where I'm gonna be putting you. I'm gonna make you guys a little stall. So come on, let's go. No lollygagging around now. We got some stuff to do, so there's our ravine. Looking good. It was a hassle getting you two through that forest. You two are a pain. Alright, come on. Come on. Now, I need you two to duck your heads right here. This might be a little short for you two. But I need you guys to bear with me. Come on. Come on. There you go. Alright, now I'm going to have to rework that entrance, I think. Alright, we're doing good. Alright, so I'm going to put these guys... Ooh, ooh, come on. Come on. Don't you do that. Don't you get stuck there. Get out of there. Get. Get. Come on. I'm going to be putting these guys down this way. In a stall. I'm thinking maybe, like, right in here. Alright, you two. We got you back here in front of our base entrance. You two need to behave. I'm going to make you two a stall right over here. So I went ahead and cleared out a little bit of an area for these guys. There's some iron down there that I picked up. But um, I think right here we're going to have our main area for them. I'm going to have a stall here for uh, my main horse, which we'll set up real quick. Let's go ahead and get some wood, some resources. I've also tried to uh, set up the maps already, tried to get an idea real quick uh, before I forgot. And I think I lost one trying to pick one up. I looked down there, but I couldn't find it. And I think it flew off. One flew off this way, and I just lost it. And I do not know what happened to it, but um, got a little bit more work to do on it. This is what I got so far that's actually connected. These three right here. These two I'm still kind of working with, but uh, this is where we're at right now. This is our ravine right here. Actually, um, let me see if I can't pick this one up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. All right, and we'll go ahead and then pick this guy up. I'll place him right here so we can show you guys a little bit better. So here's a map of our area. These are my trees that I'm growing out there. This is our ravine right here. It's looking pretty awesome. So, got a little bit more work to do on it. I think maybe a little bit later on we'll work and make our own map room. I think that'd be pretty awesome. I um, also went ahead and worked on our floor here for our second floor. Uh, replaced it all with stone brick. Looks pretty good. Also cleared out one layer um, back in the wall. That way we can start doing some stuff next episode with the walls and a few other things. But, let's go ahead and uh, finish off these... Uh, Stalls for these guys real quick. Just uh, kind of put something together for them real fast. Let's see. Let's grab some dark oak. And we'll grab some oak. Oh, also, opinions on this. So I've uh, worked in here a little bit, placed some uh, half slabs in the floor so what way mobs won't be able to spawn in here. We'll be able to uh, mess around and make some nice lighting here, I think. But uh, what do you guys think? Should I go with something like this that's just kind of... Uh, flat and just go straight up to the chests or should I do something like this where I got stairs coming in around the edges I think I kind of like the stairs idea still working around with it a little bit though let me know what you guys think let's go uh work on these stalls real quick I think we might want to grab ourselves a few other things like maybe some fences and I already got a couple chests so that'll work let's grab our saddles Actually, let's leave a few of those in there. Let's grab a couple leads, and that should be good to get us started. So I think we'll just go ahead and make like a small, quick little stable right here for our main horse. 
So maybe like a three by four, I'm thinking. So three wide, go back four blocks. Something like this. Ooh, more iron. Yes, I love iron. Oh, and that was a pretty nice note of it too. All right, fine, we'll go back an extra, an extra block just for the iron. And I forgot to bring the stone. Darn it. Yeah, it's fine. That might be kind of cool. Alright, let's go ahead and set up some uh, dark oak here. So, maybe... Oops, nope. Nope. Maybe something like this going up here. And then we'll have our support beam across the top right there. Just like so. Hmm. I think... Yeah, there we go. That'll look pretty good. And then we'll have this come across here as well. Pick you up. Get you out of the way. This will be the uh, second area for him. Alright, let's grab some oak planks. There we go. And I'm thinking maybe like this wall here will replace and just put some oak planks. That way it seems a little sturdy in here. Give it a little bit of, I don't know, life maybe. Might be a good word for it. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I think this will look out pretty good, and we might even wind up placing the uh, floor with some hay bales. I think that'd be kind of nice, so let's go ahead and do that real fast. Gonna have to get me some food cooked up. I got some uh, raw beef that I killed some cows for, so we should be good there. We'll get our uh, horse set in there. This is gonna look out pretty good. All right, come here, you, and, wow, inventory's getting full. All right, we should have a crafting table out here. I'm going to set this up real fast. Yeah, I don't know if seven's going to be enough. <laughs> yeah, we're going to need a little bit more. Probably another good stack or two, so I'm going to have to kind of replace this as I go, I think. You know what? Let's go ahead and do, like, part of it in hay, and we'll do part of it in uh, dirt. Yeah, there we go. That actually doesn't look bad as is already. And we'll do this and that. We'll make ourselves a jack-o'-lantern real quick. Actually, I meant to pick you up. Place that guy. Oh, wait, that's right. You have to have something underneath it. Hmm. Alright, for now, place him there. I'll figure something out with that in a little bit. Alright, and maybe we'll go ahead and make ourselves up a quick fence gate. Let's go ahead and put these uh, chests down. I think maybe. You know, I think we might put it over here in this stall. Put our leads in there. Put an extra saddle in there. Kind of fix this area up a little bit more in off camera. Uh, between this episode and next. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, fence gate. That's right. Uh, we'll do two of them. So two of you. Two of you. There we go fence gates and we'll place these guys ah. yeah I I think I kind of want the, them kind of floating but not like that hmm. maybe if we do this and then this no this there we go let me pick these up nice all right that should work all right you both of you. In fact, you come here, follow me. We're gonna put you right there for now. No, don't you, no, no. <laughs> Darn it. 
not what I wanted. You stay out. And you... We can bring you down. <laughs> Ow! We're going to fix these a little bit. Alright, fine. You, get out. Go. Stall for my main horse. You will be its lover. There we go. Alright. That should work for now. I'm going to kind of clean up this area and the, the tunnels a little bit for uh, safe riding. For in and out with our horse. But um, I think that's going to about do it for today. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. And um, I really hope you guys are enjoying the lands of Bentley. And until next time, we'll see you guys then. Goodbye.